we're gonna go ahead and start here in my office because I felt like when I asked you guys what you wanted to see, there was a lot of office stuff, like paperwork, um, stuff like that. So we're gonna start off in here. I have this desk for storage and this dresser. Since this is an actual office, it doesn't have um, a closet in it. Chase's does, so I'll show that later. This is just like, overflow of like work equipment um i even keep like just tissue paper i really don't keep sacks anymore like birthday bags because they were taking up so much space and i really like to just match the bag to whatever the gift or party is and so i was just using or storing all these bags that i was never using this is like my overflow drawers so when i have products i'm not using anymore or like I get a PR box or something and I don't want it, Savannah doesn't want it, I save it in here for my nieces so when they come over they can go through it. Like there's a lot of empty drawers too throughout my house. So I don't use every drawer. Just because I have it does not mean I need to use it. Um, so as you can tell, there's not a ton over there. But now I'll take you through my desk drawers too. In my top drawer, I just have pens, pencils, highlighter, Sharpies. I'm like a Sharpie. Um, like I'm addicted to Sharpies. Like I'm a hoarder. I love them. I only like them when they're pointy. So I go through them a lot. Um, so I have all that there. In this next drawer, I take tons of notes. I'm always having sticky notes. And these pads I just love because they're all neutral. And these are all clear sticky notes. See that? I love them. So I've slowly just gotten rid of all the color in my house because it stresses me out and I've gone neutral. It is so nice. And then this last drawer is work stuff. So this is my planner. And then um, sponsorships I'm going to be completed with go down here. And then current ones I'm working on will be in this so that's just my system. And then at the end of the year, I can see everything that I got to work on. And now we'll go through this side. So in this first drawer, it's basically just office supplies. Um, you know, scissors, tape, rubber bands, paper clips, all that good stuff. Right here is like all my camera and it's, you know, main equipment. So to charge it and all of that. And I have it divided out. So like this is all the accessories for this camera. Obviously this is the camera I'm using right now. Um, and then this, so like things don't get mixed up. I know what goes with what. And then I recently moved my trash can down here and it's so perfect. I couldn't really reach it over here. It, when it was right here, I couldn't push my chair in. I didn't like it like back here behind me. So I stuck it right here and it's just like paper and notes. So that's in there. And then that's my mic I use for voiceovers. Now this is Chase's space. It's a space that doesn't get seen a lot. I don't think I ever show it because every time I like post a picture of it on Instagram, they're like, whose office is that? Or like, where did that room come from? I feel like since I don't do like huge cleaning videos anymore, like I'll do whole house, but typically there's not much to clean in here. And if there is, I just wipe it down quickly. So as you can tell, we don't have a lot of bookshelves. We don't keep a lot of things. Um, he did add this in here when we moved in and it has been so helpful. So basically we just keep like printer paper and Chase loves keeping like all the instruction books that come with anything we buy. If it were me, we'd toss those, but he has two <laughs> containers of those. Um, but the main question we get is like on our paperwork and that's mainly in here. So so I'm gonna break that down just real quick because I always get asked how we control our paperwork. Um, so I just wanna dive into that just real quickly. Okay, like I mentioned before, we don't keep a lot. We pay bills online, but the receipts we do get, like all of our important things have a folder. So like Savannah has a folder, George, Tiger, um, each one of our cars has a folder. Chase and I have a folder. Um, like when we put our pool in, we kept that with all the stuff in it. So we have all that information, um, stuff on our houses and closing. We have all that information. But the best thing we can do that we've learned is just like make a folder for for a purpose and then we keep everything in there. So like when we go to sell my car, I can pull this out and give it to the new owner and it has everything we've done to it. Every receipt, you know, if we've changed the tires, um, the oil changes, they have all the information on it. And so that's how we store our folder over our folders here with all of our information in it. And then like 
for tax purposes, we have to keep all of our receipts. <laughs> so like that was probably last year's. Um, so that's how he keeps it. Um, and then, you know, you keep it for so many years and then you can get rid of it. But that's kind of what all this is, is tax purposes. Um, so like I said, we don't keep a ton unless it's for taxes or it's important information on something that we need to keep, but we don't keep like magazines and newspapers and just like things that aren't needed we only keep the important stuff we do have the closet in here so like overflow items can go into these bins there's not a lot this one's full because it's like shipping um this one's empty and then i think there's some receipts up here from a previous year and then this whole side is basically my side it's all like tripods and equipment for my cameras that i don't have space for in mine and then over here is typically products you guys have been asking where Pearl is. <laughs> She's hanging up right there for now, my wedding dress. But these bins are things for products. So things that are going in videos, things I want to test out. But currently, Savvy's been selling some of my stuff on Macari. So like I'll put things in here I don't want anymore. She'll take a picture, post it, and then put it in here. So when someone buys it, she knows where to like look for it. But um, there's stuff in here, but it's not like crazy full. It's not crazy organized, but it does function for us. Now we can go ahead and talk about the entryway. Obviously there's not a lot to show you in here as far as like organization. I did recently switch out the decor in here. So we've had a black table in here ever since we moved in, um, but it just felt too dark for me. And I felt like it was taking, like stealing the show versus the door. So anyways, I flipped it out. I stole this from our guest bedroom, which you're gonna see later is a blank spot. <laughs> I did order a new bench. Um, it's just not in yet. This one I got lucky and found at Home Goods. Um, so I went ahead and threw it in there. And to me, it's just so much more calming and inviting if you wanna like sit down and take off your shoes or put down your bag there. I just feel like it can get used more. Whereas our table, I just felt like I don't know. I didn't feel like we used it often and I felt like I was always trying to decorate it. So this was so much easier. Um, I will show you into our coat closet right here. It's pretty simple. I don't have anything on that shelf. There's nothing like above that. We have tall ceilings, but we have all that space. And then I have these baskets from Target. This is like stocking caps, gloves for winter, and then extra dog toys so I can like change them out occasionally. That one's empty right now. Um, wood hangers for our guests. So if they want to hang up their like purses or jackets or anything, we keep overflow jackets in here that are really big that we don't want to keep in our closet. And I also like to do this. So if someone comes by and they like need to run outside and don't have a coat, or if it's like in the guest bedroom, they can just throw them one there. The only thing I do want to add in here is in my last house, I had like a small little table right there, kind of like that one. Um, so people could set down like keys or purses or whatever, but that's a pretty simple space. So many people wrote on Instagram that they wanted to see our garage storage and our attic. So I'm going to show you right now. I have my, um, treadmill in here. I can't even walk out here right now. It's been like in the negative teens here. So it's not even safe for me to walk. So one day I'll get back to this, but it is just having it in this space. It's been really nice. Um, this arrangement I've had since our last house. Now, if you saw me in that last house to do it, I had bins with yellow lids. I recently switched those out. I can link these for you, but I'm like trying to get as rid as much color as possible. I know that freaks some of you guys out, but just as much as you love color, I love neutrals. That's just how you have to look at it. It's like, we're all unique. We're all individuals. If you love color, that's amazing. You keep color in your house, but I love neutrals. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do here. And this is like overflow items. You will see, I keep some of these items in my utility room, which I haven't shown yet. But I have a lot of like cleaners, dog beds, dark car seats, extra towels. Like these are like dog towels and car cleaning towels, not like people use towels. Um, I like keeping these clear bins. So like the trash bags just come through. Like so sometimes they get pulled out. But you can just come and pull on them. Um, we keep this bin for our outdoor shoes just because we don't want to get spiders and bugs in them. And this is the best thing. Like it just folds open. And then down here we keep like car wash items, dog items, um, maybe like car accessories, um, donations, extra bags, you know, like your Ikea bags and like all your reusable bags. I like to keep them in bins down here. So the stands themselves, like these gray dividers are from Home Depot. And then they have bins that fit it as well, but they're black and yellow. I went with these. I want to say I picked them up for maybe Target. I ordered them. So I will have to link them for you. 
Um, but I love having this out here. I love that guests know they can just run out here and get what they need. It's all nice and organized. I'm actually going to be buying more of these for our attic because I feel like my attic bins, they're all busting because I'm like stacking things on top of each other. I want to get some of these to put up there. I just haven't done it yet. Maybe when it warms up, um, I am going to speed this up because it is like freezing out here, but these are the stairs to our attic out here. So I'll show you up here how it looks. Now keep in mind, I have not like organized this for you. So this is it's just like real life how we live it's not going to be perfect this is what it looks like as i'm coming up here so i keep a lot of extra items like i use this for deliveries when it's not freezing outside um, i have an extra lantern that i love i'm just not using this is my artwork out of my office if you guys heard me um, talk about that earlier um, all my seasonal doormats travel um, a lot of this back here is just extra supplies from when we built and so we're keeping those just in case there's an issue and we need to fix anything. Um, Christmas, <laughs> let me do that again. Christmas, I know I need to pare down, maybe next year. I just don't feel like I can decorate a lot, but there are just so many trees, so many wreaths. And then the decor items over here is like fall and Halloween and then some of these, like I bought more because I feel like some of these are starting to smash underneath. This is where I want to put some of those shelves. Like I could probably fit one, two, three, possibly four and put matching tubs on them. So this is going to be a work in progress, but it's one of those spaces and no one sees but us. So I'm not going to work on it like super quick, but just as time goes, I'm going to get the shelves and then slowly start replacing the bins, but holiday bins, seasonal bins. I like them to match the season. So you can do all clear, but I like this system. Just like that one right there is Easter because <laughs> it's blue. So that's what works for us. I like doing that. Um, like I said, I wanna put up the shelving to make it better, but it's still very functional up here. It's very big, extra stuff. All of this over there is just like wasted. Now like Chase and Savannah walk over there. You cannot pay me a million dollars. I'm not walking over there. But this is our attic, just in case you're curious. It's organized, it's just not like pretty. Next up on the list is our utility room or laundry room, mud room, whatever you wanna call it. I tend to call it more of a utility room now since we have so much going on in here. Um, so like I said, I'm not gonna open up every single cabinet because some are empty, some you've already seen in, um, but our washer and dryer are here. So recently I did a full declutter. If you guys wanna check out that video, I decluttered in a whole video and then I organized in a whole video. So you may see other spaces there. But that's how this cabinet looks. I love to have overflow cleaning items. Like I want multiple of some products that I just like use all the time. I also love getting rid of color though. So when I can do that, I do. Um, over here is um, our overflow stocked items. So like if we run out of something, Savannah, Chase, me, myself, guests, no, they can come right here and there's extra stuff. So there's toilet paper, paper towels, Kleenex, there's extra hand soap, and then our iron and steamers there too. The lighting's really hard in here right now because the sun's shining in. And then this space gets used so much. Um, Savannah absolutely loves this ice machine. When company comes over, they use it. Um, so I finally added like the water filter pitcher right here and then just different cups for them to choose from so they don't have to go to the kitchen. It's just right there. And then over on this side, we have our drink fridge right here, an extra microwave, which was awesome. I'm so glad we did that. I did not need double ovens, but I did need a double microwave. Um, so like I said, this is just our drink fridge. So when we host or even for us, we've got that all organized. It looks so good. I love it. Adding these little can organizers were like the best thing I did. So if you have a drink fridge or you keep a lot of cans in your fridge, definitely look into getting those because I feel like it keeps it so nice and organized. Um, this little system works well too. So when you pull it out, it brings another one forward. And then this is here on the other side. So this is how we store our medicines. I know it's going to look a little messy, but it is very organized for us. So I'm using a bin within a bin, which seems crazy, but I'm going to tell you why. So basically I can see everything here, but then I can spin it and get to the back. So I don't have to like 
pull stuff down at our last house I was constantly like pulling bins down and it was just a lot so I'm like in this house I'm gonna do better so even up here like taller I can still spin to get whatever I need back there in the back and I've got it all broke down into like first aid this is kind of like flu like symptoms this is like pain relief and this is like our daily vitamins and stuff we take every single day and then that's like extra te um, test and mask thermometers all of that's up there and then right here down below is our junk drawer. It is our junk drawer. It's organized, but I swear every person needs a junk drawer in their life. <laughs> um, I feel like it just helps for those random things you need that you don't want to leave your house for. So I try to keep this somewhat stocked. I need to fill in more batteries. I have them. Now, this is our closet. So over here on this side is basically my side. I will say we split the dresser. So I have drawers and Chase has drawers. Um, but I did do a lot of decluttering in here. I reorganized it. Um, so if you're working on your closet space, my biggest thing is declutter because you probably have way more clothes than you need. I probably still have way more than I need. Um, get matching hangers and it's going to make it look so much nicer. And if you can get the thin velvet ones, you're going to be able to store so much more. They're so thin. You can have more clothes and have like spacing. See, I, I can put like a finger in between every single one of these. So your clothes can breathe. It looks pretty pretty. Um, if you get normal hangers, you're going to fit less clothes in, if that makes sense. So if you have a lot of clothes, look into getting those just as gifts throughout the year. And then I like to color code. I used to do all of it. So just keep all my grays together, all my blacks together, but I like to do it by category first. So like all of my sweatshirts are long sleeves. This is all my jackets and short sleeve. So it does look better if you can just put all the colors together, but I really like to break it up into category because like right now I'm not wearing any of my short sleeves so I can just get those up and out of the way. Here is another angle so you can see all my shoes. I did a lot of shoe storage in this house because I feel like in the last one I didn't have it. Um, and what's nice is like we have storage all the way to the top and there's even a top shelf up there. I hope I never have to use it, but it's just nice. We have that like built in storage. Um, another thing I really love when I was organizing I bought these off Amazon and so if you have a lot of shelf storage you can put these wherever you want to they just slide on so you could do like right now I have leggings right here but you could do sweaters you could do denim whatever you put on your shelves and it just makes it look nice and divided I also got this jewelry box for Christmas from Chase so that got me organized and then over here is Chase's side. So he goes all the way to the top. So he has plenty of storage. He's got tons of shoe storage right there. Um, the only hangers that don't match here are the wood hangers. And he likes them for all of his denim. And like basically he switched when he had like work pants, when he had like dress pants. He still has some like right over here, but he wears jeans more. But it does look nice if you have the space. But you can tell like how much more room it takes up versus like the thin hangers. So that's like a good example right there. Um, but that is his side. Here in this area, we have our bathtub here and then our showers through there. So in this space, we don't have any shelves. We don't have any storage. Um, so I like the way these um, bins look down here or baskets. They are from HomeGoods and Ross. I've bought them several different places. And what's so nice is they look decorative, but you can keep stuff in them. So if you look down there, I have like my bath salts and bath bubbles. This one's actually empty because I don't need it. But if I needed to keep like hand towels out here or even like bath towels whatever a rug it could go in there and you don't see it those are really good to like store toys in stuff like that um so that's that area over here is our shower and we did it where it curves around this was supposed to be like one big glass shower but we hate shower glass doors like we hate cleaning them it's so nice just to walk in there have privacy walk out there's like not much to clean and then we went ahead as that was added we added the storage unit right here it looks built in it's so nice to have i wanted a spot for our laundry so i have like a hamper down there which is full <laughs> um for all of our laundry and then the top half is for all of like our towels and stuff so that's just really nice to have like when we get in the shower we can throw all of our dirty clothes in there take a shower when we get out we can grab the towels i try to do it before and hang it but if i forget i just have to come right here like on the tile um, so that's been a really good setup for us. 
As far as like our vanities go, we are separated if you're new here. So this whole side's mine. And then Chase has this side, which is actually a lot of storage for him. We're used to like sharing less than this or the same amount. So he would never get this many drawers and cabinets. So that side works really well for him. And then over here, um, I'll open up some of these just so you can see inside, but I do have a lot of empty drawers. So um, we did a big declutter video in here. So you can definitely check that out if you want to. Here is my makeup drawer. So this may look like a little or a lot, depending on how much makeup you have. I feel like some girls on YouTube have like bedrooms full of it. So this isn't a lot, but some people just have a little baggy. I like switching up my colors and changing, especially with the season. So I like having a little bit of every color. So that's my makeup drawer. Um, down here, I just like to keep um, cleaning products in a trash can. So we have a lot of bathrooms in this house. I'm not gonna go through each one of them, but it's the same setup. I like having a trash can and then the cleaning products I need to clean. So if I'm in that bathroom, I can just clean it immediately. I don't have to go get something and get distracted. And then over here, like empty drawer, empty drawer. <laughs> One space you haven't seen though is this space because when I organized it, I had like some clear dividers in here and just had my hot tools. I ordered this little organizer right here off Amazon and it's so nice. I can keep my hot tools in there. Like even if they're hot, I can stick them in there. I did some hair brushes though, clips, my straightener and my hair dryer fit in the drawer. And then the other pieces could lay in here, clips, all the good stuff, but I love having all my hair pieces in one drawer now and not spaced out. And then this is basically like my nail drawer. So things to do my nails or my toes. If you're not already subscribed and you like room makeovers, definitely make sure you hit that button right now and turn on your notifications. I'm gonna be working on this space. So I've been kind of slowly working on it. Like we already have new nightstands. We've added new mirrors. I'm probably gonna get new lamps, but we did get some new furniture for this space. That's all I'm gonna say. So definitely be on the lookout for that video. Um, I will say these um, nightstands, I like love and hate. So look, if I stand here, they look like two different colors. I told Chase, I was like, they sent us two different colors but flip them so when you walk in you see the lighter one so we flip these and it's the same thing this just has natural light on it and this doesn't but don't those look like two different colors so I wish they both looked like this <laughs> but over here when you look at it next to our door it's not that off see that it like plays tricks on you so if you ever see me film I don't have two different dressers they're exactly the same because like I said I've flipped these and they look just like that but Anyways, in here, I try not to keep a lot. We used to have a dresser. That's what I have in our um, closet now. So we just have the fireplace. I'm like getting a little iffy about if I like this or not. I love it during the holidays. I love it with like um, garland on it and our stockings. But now that it's plain, I don't know if that's going to change. <laughs> I know some other stuff's going to change. But you'll just have to watch to find out. And then like that's Tiger's bed. They sleep better if they're separate. So I have George's over here. This one's so long that um, sometimes Tiger will come lay with him. But this is our bedroom space. There's not really much to look at because there's not a lot of storage in here. Now we're entering the movie room. Um, so this space doesn't have a ton of storage too, but we do have these. So I'll show you into some of those. This is our game cabinet, which I think is perfect for in here in the movie room. I recently in that declutter and organize video, we went through all of our games and I feel like boards take up so much space and you never really get rid of your game boards unless you lose pieces and then you throw it away. And even if you do sell it, it's like a dollar. So I finally tossed all of the boxes and ordered these off Amazon. I did cut out the name of it. Like I cut this off the box so I could see what it was immediately. And then I put them. So like we can just go through and pull out whatever we need and pull this into the living room or wherever we're going to play. And I just feel like it's so helpful. So if you're needing to like condense your board games, but you want to keep all of them, look into these bags. And then I also use these drawers for like card games. Isn't that cool? So you can just come down here and grab them. And then this game, we love playing Monopoly. So we went to Home Goods and this glass one was on sale. So we bought it because then when we're playing and then we have something to do, if this stays out on our dining room table or coffee table, it just looks nice. And then we can finish the game at a later date. 
Now let's talk about the guest bedroom, closet, and bathroom. So this is where I stole that bench from. So this will be replaced. <laughs> That's just kind of like the place um, holder for now. But we have the bed in here. This is probably going to get a mini makeover since we're redoing our bedroom. A lot of the pieces I don't want to get rid of, so it may come into here. So there might be some changes in here. This is like just a cozy guest bedroom. It's nothing huge. We could have put a queen in here um, to have more space, but I really just wanted a big bed for when guests come. I want them to feel cozy. I want them to have a lot of room. Plus my brother-in-law is like super tall. So like, it's just nice. It's nice to have. And then right here is the closet, which for now I feel like is our makeshift linen closet, like this and then the ottoman in our bedroom. Um, we've always had a linen closet for the most part, but it's always been our homeschool closet since we homeschool Savannah. So one day when she moves out, I'll actually have like a linen closet, but right now it's like homeschool closet. So in here, I keep like all their extra sheets. Savvy's as well. She does gray. Um, I have them a hamper in here, extra pillows. I try to keep extra comforters for them. I also have so many because like when we host for Christmas, we have so many people stay with us. So I may not use these all year long, but when Christmas comes, I like have to have them. I really love these pillows and I'm not ready to get rid of them yet. So I'm just hanging on to them. If I haven't used them in the next declutter, I'll get rid of them. But you can just kind of see we have blankets, fans. My family is huge on having to have loud fans to sleep. So I have to keep those in here as well because someone will sleep in here. So we'll sleep like in the movie room, Chase's office, like everything turns into a bedroom um, when family comes. So I try to keep all of those on hand so they don't have to bring their own, but then they can still sleep well. And then as we walk into here, this is their bathroom. Once again, I try to keep it stocked for them. I feel like my sister or nieces like always forget their toothbrushes or maybe they just do it on purpose now <laughs> because they're here. But I try to leave like extra um, toothpaste and toothbrushes in here. So if they do forget or don't have it, um, extra stuff just to get ready, like razors, cotton balls. I love these patches. Um, gold little patches for underneath your eyes and cotton swabs, all of that. And then down here, if they need to like do their hair, there's a hair dryer, heat protectant, rubber bands, hair clips, all the things you need. I probably need to put like a straightener or a curling wand down there, but it's typically my sister and she'll just come grab mine if she needs it. And then around here is the shower. So I love just to keep like nice shampoos that I'm either tried out and not using or something like that. Typically this is something I've tried and I'm not using anymore or I have extra of because I order it and it comes in. So I have some different options there. And then I have a hair mask and then I always put in a new, um, what is this? Bar of soap when people leave. So I'll throw away the other one because then when new guests come, obviously they want a new one. So I put that in there and then there's razors in the drawer if they need them. And then over here by the toilet, I have Kleenex and spray and then always extra toilet paper, cleaning products, all of that, and then extra towels and stuff for them to use the shower. It is living room time. Once again, there's not a ton in here. I will say for me, I typically do not like shelves or any type of storage in the living room. I don't want places to put things. Like I don't like things underneath beds. I don't like things behind doors. I like only having like what we need. Um, but in this house, we did design some shelves and cabinets. I was so scared. <laughs> like my husband wanted them so bad and I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but we really have enjoyed having them. I will sometimes say the decor gets to be a lot because I just want it like super simple, but I want it to look like we live here. But I feel like right now I have a really good balance. So I can take you inside these cabinets real fast. But other than that, that is the only storage we have like in this space. Okay, so in these cabinets right here, it's just extra blankets. I have blankets everywhere. I'm kind of a blanket hoarder. I have some in the movie room too, but I like to just have them close and nearby. So that's the only thing that's in there. And then over here on this side, it's extra decor. So it's decor pieces I love, but they currently don't have a home. And I'm all about shopping your home first. And I like to rearrange. I like to change a lot. And I love neutrals, so I can pretty much use them in any space. So pieces that I know I love that I want to decorate with again, I just keep down here. So I like to display it like a store sometimes, but right now it's a little full. So I just keep everything in there. But if I'm looking for a piece, I just come in here and look first before heading out to the store. 
the pantry I just did a full video on. So if you want to see me completely <laughs> redo this space and know where everything came from, definitely check that out. But I'll show you just in case you did miss that video. Um, I did grab this step stool off Amazon since that video. What's so nice is it just like tucks underneath here. But if Savannah or I need something like up high, we can just like pull it out. So that's been super nice. Um, also when we were building, I had these like cubbies custom built for all the small appliances. And that's like one of the best decisions. I say that a lot. That's like my best decision. But like when you get to customize a home, it's so nice to like make those little tweaks. Um, so we love, love having that. If I ever did it again, I probably should have put one on this side, but technically I don't think I'm going to get any more products than I already have. But this is our pantry. I feel like it works really well. It's, um, functional. It's aesthetic looking, but it's not a huge upkeep. Like I used to have all of our food in these and it looked so good, but in reality it was so much work. So now I just put them into like baskets or bins. Okay, I saved a kitchen for last because there's just a lot of cabinets. So I'm gonna open up as many as I can. I will say this top has nothing in it. So it's so tall, I don't need it yet. Um, I hope to never use them, but we did want our cabinets to touch the ceiling. So we have extra storage up there if we need it. Like if I wanted to keep Christmas stuff inside and not up in the attic, I could keep stuff up here because you'll never see it. But I will say I'm not gonna open up any of that just because there's nothing in it. So over here by the coffee bar, we have like our coffee drawer. So I'm all about like keeping stations together. Like this is the coffee station. So we have the coffee maker, all the K-Pods, everything you need. And then also like the cups go right here. I also have a few out here. That way everything's together and you're not bouncing around, especially with guests. They know just everything's in you know, arm's reach of it. Um, down here is just like serving dishes. So this only gets used during the holidays, but those are right there. And then the drawer next to like the coffee station, I just have all of our like baggies and foil and saran wrap, all of those things that you need, but it's not like in the way of the station. It's over here separate. And then right over here, I kind of call our baking station. So this is where we would bake because like the oven's right here. Um, I have all the like flour and sugar and all that right there. So along with that, I have like, <laughs> Savannah loves this, so we're not putting it up. She got it around Christmas time and wants it. But other than that, we're all neutral, but you know, like things you need to pull your cake out of the oven. And then this is like the bowls and the measuring cups. Obviously I have stuff in the dishwasher cause it's empty. And then down here is kind of the random drawer, but it does have like stuff for waffles and the hand mixer. These are the lids to like my baking dishes, which are right here close by. So I just try to be very aware when I'm organizing and putting things away that it's like in the area that it's supposed to be in. Okay, so when we designed this kitchen, it was supposed to end right here. And I noticed there was just a lot of dead space over here around this corner. Now, I didn't want it to get too tight, but it didn't. We still have extra space right here. We have plenty of walk space. So, um, you know, we're just looking at pieces of paper. So I'm always hoping this is going to work out. But I was like, can I add a vacuum closet? And so we did. And I was really worried if it was going to fit, but it is perfect. And we added an outlet in there. So like right here, I can keep all my cleaning stuff right here in the open, like right where I need to use it. Um, and it can be charging, but it's hid away in this cabinet that you don't really see. So I'm really glad we did this upgrade. It's not pretty. No one wants to look at this. And what's nice is it's just tucked away. And then right here, I just have an extra, you can see like my Swiffer duster and just like different mop heads that I need are all right there. Now as far as above this, this is where like my dishes and my bowls are. Those are nice and organized. Near my stove, I need all of my pots and pans. So I have those right there. And then my beautiful down here. Um, and then this is perfect because all the stuff I need for my pots and pans is right here. But also like my baking stuff that I bake right there. It's all within this little pull out. And then this side is our spices, which is super nice. And then my grandma always told me to keep silverware near your table. So that's why I've always done that. So I've got that there. And then this is all of our food storage containers. 
And then I've always kept our drinking glasses right by the fridge. So you'll see our fridge is right here. And then these are our drinking glasses. So that's just what makes sense to me. You can totally set up your kitchen different, but that's just how I've done. We are so close to being done, but I'm just gonna run through the island real fast. And just in case you're enjoying this, this is all of our like um, towels and cleaning rags, basically drying rags. I dry with these and these are normally hung up. Um, and I have a clear divider in there just to keep them where they need to. Here's all of like our paper goods. And I've recently switched to all white and it's heavenly. So if you don't like color, they actually have white and clear now. And then down here's my crazy drawer, but it's just extra bags. So if I need a trash can liner or someone's taking something or extra food, like I just have all my bags that can be used down there. Trash can, you guys watched me organize this on camera. I feel like it's holding up really well. And then right here is my kitchen junk drawer, which I really need to work on. I feel like I could do better. <laughs> and then cleaning rags. And the final drawer is um, my cloth napkins, which I love, and then place settings. So if we're hosting. I think the only room I didn't show you was our dining room, but there it is. There's like nothing to open. It's just the table, chairs, and mirror. Um, but I hope this motivates you to work on one space today. You definitely can't tackle a whole house in one day, but you can slowly just at a time work on one space and it's so calming to have an organized home. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell turned on and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.